Tonight we have a better look at what repairs to the Brent Spence Bridge will look like. It was closed by a fiery crash exactly a week ago. And we can give you a better look at the aftermath. Local 12 has obtained body camera video from the Covington Police Department. It shows what officers saw early last Wednesday just after the fire was put out. The officers expressed shock at the charred wreckage of the trucks and the extent of damage to the bridge. The fire did extensive damage, as we've been showing you, to a section of concrete on the upper deck and also to support beams there. Officials say the structural integrity of the bridge was not damaged. And today we got a look at what the work to repair it will look like. The transportation cabinet showed a view of the condition of the concrete on the lower deck of the bridge. The intensity of the heat caused severe damage there, but officials say that concrete can be repaired. The fire also did extensive damage to the underside of the upper deck. Beams that were subjected to the most intense heat, these are, those are actually going to be removed and replaced, and crews will remove both concrete and beams from a section of the upper deck that measures about 200 feet. This comes after years of unsuccessful attempts to build another bridge across the river. It carries 200,000 vehicles a day and 3% of the nation's GDP. That's a, close to $600 billion. The larger question for the, for, the, for the area here, for this region and beyond is capacity. This bridge is clearly over its intended capacity. The target date to reopen the bridge is December 23rd. Today, officials took steps to get big tractor trailers off of local roads that aren't designed to handle them. The bridge closure creating gridlock in downtown Covington. Transportation Secretary Jim Gray signed an order that encourages commercial trucks that don't have local stops to stick to the official detours, I-275 and 471. Truck drivers can be cited if they're on a local road, but Gray says officials are getting the word out to truckers and their companies to stay on the interstates. That's so, so important. Mm.